Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. So awesome. Let's jump in, brother. Number one, we're going to start off hearing about your biggest financial mistake or setback. Love to hear about that. And then part two of that question is how did you recover from it? Um, Man, biggest financial setback. Um, I It was before I ever got into real estate. Um, and it was twofold. One, um, I dove all in into a business that I built um, and I spent 25K to, to start the business and then another 25K to eventually uh, make a product within the business that was a digital product that I thought was going to take off. Um, and that 50K, um, just so you guys can understand, I was working about 80 hours a week on a normal week. I was doing this in Phoenix, Arizona. And my best year, David, I made $42,000. Like it was, and I did this for six years. Um, that was your so, best year. Was that? That was your best year. That was my best year. Yeah. Holy cow, man. Yeah. I have to say you are one persistent SOB, man. <laughs> and, and, and that usually when you say persistence is a good thing, in this case, it was just stubbornness, right? Like yep. I didn't want the people, I was a sports anchor before I owned a business. And you so, every, no yeah. Shit. So everyone thought I was going to be like the next ESPN guy. And then when I quit, everyone was like, why are you quitting? You're really good at this. Like a lot of people were disappointed that I quit. And so it was like my gut feeling that I had to make this business work or else everyone was going to tell me, I told you so. Um, and so my stubbornness kept me in that. And honestly, um, the writing was on the wall after year two of that business, but I stayed in for another four years because I just didn't want to fail. Yeah. But what I learned from that was that just because you change lanes doesn't mean you failed. It just means that totally you've decided that this is no longer the vehicle that's going to get me to success. Yep. And so um, once I was okay with that, that's really how I was able to recover because it was my, my dad um, went into uh, hospice in 2018. And that's when I was like, okay, like, am I going to just be spending my wheels for the rest of my life? How am I going to be able to provide for my future kids, my future wife, my future family? And right. the answer was, I, I don't know. So that's when I said, okay, I got to get into something that's a little bit more worth my time. And that's where I found real estate. Man, I love it. And so the recovery phase of that was just pivoting basically, right? Yeah, it really was. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Awesome, man. Very cool. All right. Number two.